Ever wonder what future cities will be like? What if they could think like a human brain? Imagine a city where layers of artificial intelligence and the internet of things are being incorporated into our infrastructures, making even homes and traffic monitoring systems talk to each other. Hi, I'm Sarah Lamptey and I'm here with Mike Pitts to talk about future cities. So what can we expect? Well, the city of the future will have a lot more walking and cycling space, a lot less pollution, and that will allow people to live much more healthy and active lives. Fantastic. So what will make that possible? The systems that manage a city will be much more controlled by artificial intelligence, but also will be using a lot more green energy. So say if you work in an office, the building itself will be optimised for the occupants, but it'll also communicate with other buildings and will generate its own energy using things like solar windows. Sounds good. So what about on my lunch break? So you'll go and collect your lunch from what's an increasingly interactive high street. Uh, you probably won't have a till in a shop when you pick up your sandwich, but you, if you went to go and buy a new dress, you'd go into an augmented reality changing room where you could look at different options and how they looked on you. I like the sound of that. So what about on my way home? Well, we won't be driving cars so much in the future. Uh, the public transport will be almost Uber-like. You'll have automatic driven pods that will come up and collect you. So you're saying that transport will become intelligent? Absolutely. Particularly moving between different transport modes will become even easier and all seamless and connected. So how would I pay for something like that? You just hop on and off. Uh, the vehicle would sense that you've changed modes and will charge you accordingly. That sounds really convenient. Exactly. And also these pods will start to deliver things like goods and services to you when they're not moving people around. OK, so all that automation and smart technology isn't bad for jobs? Oh, well, quite the contrary. What they'll do is free up people to spend more time doing the human interactive parts. It's automating the routine bits. So imagine a nurse being able to spend more time with the patients, or a police officer being able to spend more time on the beat interacting with the public. So future cities look smart, green and exciting, and will lead healthier lives and then have more time to enjoy them. Exactly. So what do you think?